Okay, timestamp is 2.56 in the morning, April 19th, and Liesl is dilated to a nine. They just came in and checked her because baby A's heart rate went down quite a bit, but then it came back up. So they just wanted to check her to see how she was doing. She is at a nine. So we're just patiently waiting for things to progress even further and things happening. Our nurse is gonna call our doctor. Just keep her on the same page. And that's about it. I'll update you as we get more updates. Okay, we're trying this again. It said memory card error. So who knows if this video will actually work. But we were just talking about how these are still at a nine. And we're going on 17 hours. It's really hard to sleep. And this is the slap in the face in the beginning of parenthood. And Liesl said that they say that you will never sleep well ever again after this. I don't know who they is, but that's what they say. The man says it. Society. Anyway. We're just hanging out, waiting for babies to go. Um, Sorry that I apparently labor forever. You're such a laborer. Way to go. Thanks. You're welcome. Wouldn't it be funny if we had babies on labor day? <laughs> uh-huh, you're funny. I know. <laughs> um, the nurse called her doctor, and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> I'm getting weird. The doctor said we're good to just stay here until something else happens. Yep, which means water breaking, essentially. So, that's what's going on right now. It's 3.05. I'm going to go lay Technically, down. Technically, I think I've been in labor for like 24 hours now. Probably. Because it started at like 3 in the morning yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. She's a laborer. So is my mom, though. She is? Yeah, didn't you hear what she was saying? Did she go into labor with Devin on Christmas night? Christmas day. And he wasn't born until the 27th. There you go. There so you have it. For me and Wesley, they broke her water when she was at like 4 centimeters. <laughs> so they would speed it up because otherwise she just labors for days. Yeah. Well, at least it's a lot like her mom. No. We could have, but we opted not to. I would rather give them the extra time to develop. I yeah. know, I assume that every little bit helps. Yep. I believe that. Okay, that's our update. We'll keep you updated as we get updated, as always. Timestamp. A little after 5 a.m. They broke her water. Here we go. We're gonna have some babies. You ready? Get ready or not, yep. this is it. She's coming. <laughs> I can feel her, the yeah. pressure as she slips down. Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! Okay, here we go. Perfect. Seven, 
eight, nine, Perfect. ten. Big breath. Like that, you got there it. Here we go. Push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. And go. Push. Two, three, four, five, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got another one in you? That one more. Really close. Good job, two, three. Okay, we'll find the rest. You're good. Good job. Push. You got her. So you close. Just rest. Good job. Deep breath. Got it. Good job. We're pregnant. What? Oh, what? Can you believe it? No. I knew you were sick. Oh, you guys are going to be Violets are blue. Apparently, they go baby come out. Are you kidding? Really? Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. No, no, boy. Apparently, Liesel's babies come in parts of two. Shut up. Swords and twins. Oh my god. No way! <laughs> are you kidding me? No way! <laughs> <laughs> Ready, set, go! go.
Do you want her up on your chest? And this is Dallas. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Dallas is going to go over to the NICU and get a little bit of help breathing and some IV fluids. Timestamp 11.09 a.m. Babies have been born for a little over four or five hours, like four and a half. They're in the NICU, they're just hanging out. Dallas is on an oxygen tube because her lungs weren't quite working fully yet. Ella's doing great though. She's just hanging out. We went back and, and saw them. Well, I did with Todd. Liesl hasn't been back yet. Update with Liesl, she is having some bleeding issues where she was bleeding more than they would have liked. And so the doctor figured that she still had some placenta in there that was causing issues. So she was taken to the OR while I was in the NICU getting all that information. And now she's recovering in surgery and then she will be here later. Um, but we will give you updates as that happens and as she comes back. But I think I'm gonna go home and take a shower <laughs> because I feel gross and I wanna get like basketball shorts and stuff to sleep in tonight. So I think while Liesl is in, patient or surgery recovery and I don't really know if she needed like full-on surgery but they did need to like probably give her anesthetic and go back up into her uterus and pull whatever was in there out um, and then Liesl needs to start pumping breast milk there's just a lot of things going on your life changes like that when children are born all of a sudden you're not thinking about yourself so it's exciting and we're excited and also exhausted. I think I've only uh, had two hours of sleep in like 48 hours, so it's fine. <laughs> um, not quite 48, maybe like 30 or so. But that's the update currently. Um, we will update you as the updates come, as always. So we'll see you in a minute. She's living. I just told them that you were in surgery trying to get that piece of placenta removed. It was awful, and they scraped in my uterus for like two hours. <laughs> so sorry. I slept through most of it, so that's fine. That's fine. They sedated me. Yeah. But I did wake up towards the end, and it was pretty awful. And I lost so much blood. <laughs> my blood pressure was like 80 over 20 or something. Right? Liesl has a problem with just a little bit dying during these pregnancies. That's fine, though. So I had really terrible blood pressure afterwards. But they got it out, and I'm no longer just, like, gushing blood. Which is always great. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, that's about me. Then I came back here. Yeah. And here's where I've been. Yeah. Um, when we go to the NICU again, we'll pull this out and show you the wee littles. See how they're doing. Um, but for right now, we're exhausted, and we're going to take a nap. Okay. Good night. Good night. Timestamp, 12.02. April 20th, 2017. I have only received three hours of sleep for 20 hours of being awake. She's only received an hour and a half. Give or take. Give or take. That's because she had to get knocked out <laughs> to get her little chunk of placenta removed earlier today. Anyway, the babies are here. They're adorable. They're little. They're going to be fine. You happy? So happy. We just did like two hours of skin to skin contact, one hour with each baby. So it was good. I loved it. She loved it. I just got to hold my babies. Yep. So we are gonna end this birth video. How exciting. Life just got real crazy real quick. So quick. You ready? Yep. Here we go. As always, have courage. Be kind. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.